Well, good afternoon, my friends. So, uh, I'm not going to lie and say this is going to be a quick one. Let's see how long this one takes. So, I'm going to I'm gonna open up a set that's long overdue. I've had it for a while. I've shown it so many times. Other people have opened it up. Uh, it's not fresh or new. It's, it's the uh, Deutschland design. It's a very special set. Um... And there are some some pieces in here that I really, really wanted. Um, so that's a five-car set, but we're going to open up six cars. So we're, we're not going to bother going in order. Yeah, we're, we're, we've got the odd-numbered one, three, and five here. And, uh, we're just going to go um, here, 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 then there, there, there. You know. uh, so let's start out with Quincinelli. What is number one? Uh, let's take a look at this BMW M3 E46, but before we do, just a real quick refresher on what's in this set. So there's that BMW, a beautiful Volkswagen T1 panel bus, a Porsche 959, a Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL 6.8 AMG, commonly referred to as the Pig or the Red Pig, and an Audi S4 Quattro. So... Uh, these are all car culture premium, so all uh, metal body, metal base, and wheel riders, rubber tires, and more, quote unquote, more authentic wheels. Let's take a look. Uh, so that's muy bueno. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, it's sort of disappointing that the BMW and the Audi are almost identical shades of blue. We'll see when that one's open, but uh, black wheels look good. Uh, the tampo details look excellent. Um, has a nice weight to it. So, yeah, metal body, metal base, real riders. BMW M3 E46. Uh, copyright 2020. So this is a, you know, a relatively new casting for them. Very nice. Um, the metal flake paint is nice a little yeah you know, i guess in this scale it just seems a little overdone like uh hookers placemats or something you know i don't know whether hookers have placemats but you know some sort of hooker shoes or something you know um so that's pretty cool i mean i think we're gonna see these 10 spoke wheels a little overused i don't know about in this set i just mean in general uh, so, uh, that's the first one out. And it's a car I like. I'm not a car I love. I like BMWs. I like M3s. Uh, but, uh, this is, of course, very popular. I mean, there were, there were a, a, a white one and I think a black one in a Fast and Furious car culture set. Um, so let's take a look at this one here. So this is number three out of five. This is the Porsche 959, the 1986, I guess, street version. Um, so, and as I recall, I found most of these in the store. Um, and so I think they were, you know, between five and six dollars on the pegs. Um, and Let's see, so, well, a little chip in the paint or something there. Not that that usually bothers me. Actually, it's more than a chip. It's like a, yeah, it's a cut into it or something. But, uh, oh, look at that. So it's got the little racing window that doesn't, oh, you know, it just has a little slot uh, uh, mirrors. So these two items up here are... Um, this is not actually a street car. This is a rally car uh, that that uh, match, um, Hot Wheels is passing off as a street car. Uh, we'll see when we open up that one in the middle, the Rothman, sort of Rothman stuff. See here, these are the um, high-mounted uh, brake and fog lights that are used in racing. Uh, so this would not be on the street version. Uh, also, all these lightning holes in the rear fascia. Um, those are two clues that this is not actually a street casting. Uh, but even the street casting is, is you know, a thinly veiled race car. Uh, these uh, very blocky, um, what are they? Six spoke rims in black are nice. Uh, 
it looks like the headlights seem to be part of the windshield, which is nice. The Porsche logo there is almost legible, the hood pins, the turn signals, and the black for the grills, the little skid plate here on front. The Tampo taillights are done very nice. Um, yeah, I mean, kudos. So is it both sides? Yeah, see this? I don't know whether it's a defect or that line there underneath that door and that. So well, we'll see when we open up the other 959. Interesting. And this is a, this is a great casting. It's a great car. It's kind of dull just in white. Um, it's a shame. Um, I mean, the, when they came out, the magazines had them all in red. Um, you know, so as, Ma as uh, Doug DeMiro always says, that's the quote-unquote press color. And that's always his preference is to get uh, the marketing color, the press color. So here we go with number five, uh, the Audi S4 Quattro. And when I was... Um, getting ready to do this video, I was like, I don't have any premium Hot Wheels Audi. And then I realized no premium Hot Wheels BMW. Oh, that's not true. I have the Audi wagon. So it's BMW that I, this is the first um, Hot Wheels premium BMW, this one I have. Um, I have to recheck my BMW. I mean, I know I have BMWs from like Kyosho and so forth, but so this is very nice. Uh, of course, now these gray wheels, uh, what a difference the color makes. Um, they look much better. Uh, I would have to Google and see what kind of wheels these came, these, what these things came with from the factory. But this is a very nice, um, again, you know, so the, the shade of blue is a little different. And the metal thing is not as big um, but a, 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 you know uh, rear tampa is done nicely the tail lights the Audi rings the uh, trunk latch the uh, s4 badge which is really barely legible but is all right um, the interior looks to be a dark gray which is actually a relief because it's not just monolithic black um, Side marker light, uh, headlights and Audi rings done nicely, the black for the vents here. So, I mean, you know, Hot Wheels did a decent job on this. This is, this is, this is a fair $5 car. You know? Let's, those two go around. So, yeah, as they're spinning, you can see that there is enough of a shade of blue difference. But again, um, so much blue in this set. So now here's one. Now, I don't normally keep these Hot Wheels Volkswagen T1 panel buses. If I get them, especially in premium, I usually send them to my friends that collect Volkswagens. But I did want to keep this one um, because it's part of this set and because it sort of has the Porsche um, service livery on the side of it. So this one I'm gonna keep, uh, and uh, we're gonna open this up. Pretty cool. I mean, and these are heavy, especially this Volkswagen. This Volkswagen is very heavy. No, it's it's like a paperweight. It's just a chunk of metal. Oh. So these white wheels. Honestly, there's no way to say it. These white wheels look ridiculous. Um, they don't look authentic in any way. Um, sorry, Mattel. That's just that's just true. I'm not saying they look horrible, but they don't look real, or they don't look yeah. You know, they don't look like moon eyes. They don't. They they just don't look. The wheels suck, uh, but the paint job's nice. Look at this. Uh, Porsche, the details up front here, headlights, turn indicators, and the big VW logo. Uh, you can see the, 
steering wheel, which is more like a water fountain there. Uh, I mean, which is impressive that you can see anything in that dark interior. You can see the seats, and you can see that looks like a school water fountain or a park water fountain. Uh, in the back here, the tail lights are done and some latches. And you can see that the license plate is actually part of the metal base. So uh, let's take a look. Volkswagen T1 panel bus, copyright 2011. Um, can't see much inside there. there. I don't know whether there is anything inside there. So I'm happy to have it, but it's not a it's not a it's not a great um, casting. It's you know it's okay. Uh, too slammed. Um, let me just pause this for a second because uh, I want to find that that uh, green and white one. Hold on. There we go. So this is that Kinsmart pullback 164 that I got back in August, and. I know, I'm just a big meanie, right? The slammed Volkswagens, yes, people slam them, but there's just something about the proportions that just don't look right on the Hot Wheels. Um, so, me beating up on poor Hot Wheels, yet again. All right, so let's, now this one, uh, I, I don't know why I didn't open this one up before. So this is a car culture. This is the Wild Terrain. And out of this series, uh, I did get the Land Rover Defender, which I love. Um, and that's it. I really should have gotten the Unimog. I did see it in the stores. Now I regret not picking it up. But the off-road Camaro, not my thing. This Bronco, I love Broncos. I cannot stand Hot Wheels casting for the Bronco. Um, once you've seen a real premium, good detailed casting of a Bronco, you can't look at this thing. Yeah, so, so the 959, 1986, and the Land Rover Defender 110 hardtop. Out of this series, I have those. And I want to take this off card to compare it to the white one from this Deutschland design. So look, I'm, I'm cracking six premium cars in one video. Um, wow, so this is sort of funny. So I like these white wheels much better on this than the black. And I get that doing the, the white wheels on the white car would be ridiculous. But again, I think this, this quote-unquote civilian version should be red rather than white, or even blue, or, you know, gray. Um, I don't know. So are these the same casting? They should be. Porsche 959, yeah. Oh, maybe not. There is, there is either an update or a change to this casting, because this one has a 2020, no, hold on. I know, 2019, 20, oh, yeah, so they are, yes. All right. It's just the way the tampo printing is done here. Yeah. So, nice, well, nice enough. Um, yeah. Now, for some reason, the race version of this casting doesn't get the tampo printed on these brake light fog lights. Um, and as luckily some of my European friends have uh, corrected me. This is supposed to represent a Rothman's livery, which we're all familiar with, anybody who is familiar with racing. Uh, the funny thing is, I knew the Rothman's livery, but I didn't know what Rothman's was. It, they're cigarettes, like Marlboro. That's why Hot Wheels can't actually use a, 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 an authentic Rothman's livery. But they do this very nice. Again, headlights are lensed part of the windshield. That Porsche logo is illegible, but decent tempos here. Uh, so number 186 here, the French flag, and then, I mean, this looks like the human rights campaign here. I don't know. Now, I have to check the other case. And you see here this opening with two, two little bumps. 
I wonder what that is. Uh, uh, if anybody knows, I mean, they're not lights. Are they radio antennas? Why are they up on the roof? And there we go. And they're on this one, too. So, again, this is a racing version with the high-mounted lights and with whatever these two bumps are. So is this. It's, it's being represented here as a street version, but it's not. It's not a street version. It is a racing version. So let's those take a spin around. And, uh, and then we'll get to the, uh, my favorite of this group, number four of five. The Mercedes-Benz 300 SEL, 6.0 AMG. The Pig. And this... This broke everything out for AMG. This was the car that was their proof of concept. And... Just an amazing car. Um... Let's take a look at this big old thing. I love this shade of red. I mean, I can see some minor imperfections in the paint, but look at all the sponsors. So Hot Wheels, Bill Stein, AMG, Castrol, uh, what is this, M. Jones, Vander Veidt, LIU. I'm assuming that's real. I, I should have... Uh, if anybody knows what this yellow, with this M. Jones, uh, L.I.U. Mm. And it looks like it has Bill Stein twice. Th number 35 twice. I had seen Small Model Collector do his video on this. And uh, he mentioned that the fact that there's 35 twice on the sides. 35 on the hood, not on the roof. No rear bumper. <laughs> like uh, new clamps for the trunk. 300 SEL, AMG, the taillight's done nice. Look at this. The muffler here is a gray plastic, and I guess it's part of the interior, which we'll check out in a second. So uh, the Tampa works done very nice here. I like these five-star wheels in gray. They remind me of old Ferrari wheels from back in the day. Um... They did a nice job with all the chrome around the windows and the door handles. And you can see the windshield wipers there. Uh, chrome grill. Now, there's a whole lot going on here. You have the four factory headlights, and then you have four aftermarket racing lights, spotlights, uh, driving lights, fog lights. That is sweet. Uh, so they've got this like swirl pattern printed on the off-road lights. And then... I couldn't swear, but I can't tell whether these headlights here are... just black or... But still, it looks nice. I can't... What is that little yellow on the hood there? Okay, this is where I have to... Zoom in a little. Let's see. What is that? Uh, yellow with a red thunderbolt or something? If anybody knows what that is, hey, let me know in comments. See that? So I'm very happy with this model. Let's so now let's take a look here. Mercedes Benz 300 SEL 6.3 AMG 2020 made in Thailand. So, of course, this demands to be compared to the uh, late last year, uh, this Mercedes. Now, they are not the same car. Um, this is a 300 SEL. Right? I'm sorry, 280 SEL, 4.5. And this is the 300 SEL. So they're close, probably built on the same chassis, but they're, they're not the same car. Actually, I should Google that. They're definitely not the same casting, 
but they're both nicely done. I mean, you can see this is all factory normal fenders. This has fender flares. Uh, looks like the, yeah, the bumper being removed up there and in the back. You know, all weight savings for racing. And this one actually seems wider, I wonder. Well, the, the, the wheels and tires are bigger. The bumper is missing. This is a 1972 Mercedes-Benz 280 SEL 4.5. 4.5 liter V8 as opposed to a 6.3 liter V8. Uh, 6.3? I'm sorry, 6.8 liter, right. 6.8 liter. These are beautiful. I love them. So let's them spin around for a minute. So, uh, 21 minutes. Uh, I, I, I thought it would be a shorter video, but at least I didn't lie and say, this is going to be a short video. So, uh, like, share, subscribe, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Uh, I know I'm late to open these, but I'm happy to open them and get them in the collection. Uh, have to find uh, display space, case place for them, but I will. So uh, thanks for watching. You guys be well, and I will talk to you soon.